we've got this person, C. Ron, talking about how they have been accused of supporting incest from the weird part of Genshin Twitter. Essentially saying it's okay if you don't like them and find them annoying, however, don't just spread blatant lies. And so just for the record, this person has over 100,000 followers and is apparently a number one New York Times bestselling author of Iron Widow and Zachary Ying. Continuing here, talking about the accusations, it seems it stems from the whole Sworn Brothers thing, which is racism and prejudice I've seen from Twitter cops from the Genshin community time and time again. I've seen other Chinese people, not just Siran here, talking about the Sworn Brothers trope and kindly and respectfully trying to explain it to the Twitter cops. And they just get sent prejudicial remarks, told that they're incestual people and other just awful things. And it's from the same people that act like they care about others, right? The same people that pretend that they care about civil rights and that sort of thing. And it's like, nah, you, you, you literally don't, though. You're some of the most prejudicial racist people on the entire internet. And side note, I've seen a lot of hate directed from that same crowd towards the YouTuber Muhammad Akbadi, a Nigerian gentleman who made a video, as you can see here, about the weirdos that want to fix Genshin characters. And they didn't like that his opinion was different from theirs, so they have called him all manner of terrible things, including overtly racist slurs. I've got a bunch of examples of that. Obviously, I've got some of these censored. And uh, to be quite frank, even just showing like the emojis and stuff is uh, making me uncomfortable. I don't like including stuff like that in my video. I want to show you what these people are saying, though, because this is a fact of the situation. It's disgusting. So yeah, it's very disturbing what these Twitter cops in the Genshin community do to people whose opinions they disagree with. Even if they are from Nigeria or from China, they don't care. They'll just send slurs because, oh, opinion on video game character, so different and bad. By the way, we definitely care about non-white people. Yeah, sure you do. Let's be real, they don't care about anyone except those whose opinions are a part of the same hive mind as theirs. On that note, one of my own moderators has been sent slurs from that same crowd, go figure, because he's a moderator on my channel and he's black and they, 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 they can't stand that. So they think it's okay to send him slurs because they don't like me and he's a mod of mine. Like this stuff is so ridiculous. I'd like to end this video by going back to talk about Muhammad a little bit though, because I actually recorded the well, up until this point, um, yes, last night, excuse me, I'm still kind of waking up this morning now. And so I'm, I'm uh, at my desk this morning and I see the harassment against the guy has gotten a lot worse. And I think I'm going to do a full segment about that maybe uh, later today or tomorrow. But let's end with this. So they're obviously, as you know, mad about that video he made. And I went and took a look at it last night. Now, admittedly, I was up and down making dinner while I had it on. So I wasn't paying full attention. No slight at Muhammad. It's just that I was, you know, doing my own videos and then I had to make dinner. But I want to check out what he was saying. So... I didn't hear anything crazy though. It seemed like a pretty reasonable video, unless I missed some like crazy thing he said, which I, I'm doubting I did. Um, I, I really don't think it's like that big of a deal. No, it absolutely doesn't warrant the harassment campaign going on against the guy. People are literally trying to deplatform him right now, and they're, as you've seen, calling him a bunch of slurs and all that. And you know what? I'm used to how Genshin Twitter acts, or rather, that part of the Genshin community acts, these Twitter cops. And uh, when I see them trying to cancel the guy, I'm just inclined to believe he's done nothing wrong because that's generally the type of people to go after. People who have done nothing wrong that simply have opinions that are different from their own. It's absolutely pathetic. Anyways, Muhammad also gave me a shout out in his videos. That's much appreciated, Muhammad, for watching this. Thank you for the shout out. That was cool of you. Uh, I wish you the best in dealing with these Twitter cops. Uh, I think you'll be fine, though. Yeah, we'll talk about this maybe in another segment further. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. What a freaking crazy mess, dude. These people are crazy. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you there and in the next segment.